hi guys welcome back to queenie's kitchen guys it's so happy to be back well i'm quite sure a lot of you have missed me but guess what life happens i was just going through a bit of personal fears and i need some time for growth and development and you know for just get through the storm but as they say guys when god is in the vessel he smiles at the storm and he smiled at my storm and that is why I'm back with you today. So a big welcome back guys. I'm happy to be back with you and I do hope that I will always be back with you. Okay. Without further ado, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to cook for you today. Today I'm going to be cooking quick and easy simple dish because you know I'm a return so I'm not going to do nothing long out for you. I'm just going to do some creamy coconut pasta with prawn served with stir fry broccoli with garlic okay so on the menu here i'm going to be using some garlic granules and that's to marinate my prawn my king prawn i'm going to be using my fish seafood seasoning sorry seafood seasoning black pepper the cracked black pepper guys and I'll be added to that some coconut cream and that's good the coconut cream will go into the pasta okay pasta we're gonna use this pasta that I got from Aldi yeah so see now and with that I'm going to be doing the stir fry with some garlic because I mentioned before also, I'm going to be using this lovely, fresh bag of tender stem broccoli, which I purchased from Sainsbury. Yeah, I love these kinds of broccoli. It's very crunchy and very nice and doesn't need a lot of cooking. And also from Sainsbury, guys, guess what? I love cornice. One of my favorite vegetable corn, corn on the cob. This is it. So I've got these also from, um, Sainsbury and you know they are seasonal so I don't know how Sainsbury still have it yeah or they just coming in I guess but sometimes they do the frozen one I don't like the frozen one I like the one in there you can see already in the shell what shell this I wanna call this <laughs> let me know guys what would you call this in the leaves in the shell yeah so that's the one I really like remind me of the Jamaican corn where your parents used to boil in the soup on Saturday that's what this reminds me of. So this is what I'm going to be using, guys. And to top that off, I'm going to be using some, as you can see, Filipino Blurio Chili. And that's some olive oil, hot chili oil. That's what I'm going to be using to stir fry my broccoli. So guys, once again, love you loads. Welcome back. I'm happy to be back with you lot. But remember, as I say, don't let nothing get you down and remember when God is in the vessel he smiled at the storm and he did smile at my storm so blessed up and welcome back to Queenie's kitchen now I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be using to marinate my prawns these are some fresh nice juicy king size prawn that I picked up from the butchers today they have already been washed and I clipped the air. You know what I'm calling it, the air, you know, a little bit. I've clipped it and I've also washed it thoroughly with vinegar. Left the shell on because that's how I want it to be. And at this point, guys, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use to marinate our king prawn. So first of all, I'm going to go in with our sea food seasoning. So a touch of seafood seasoning guys because you know um prawn don't really need a lot of seasoning really but because i'm going to do it with the coconut cream and the pasta i'm just going to give it a bit of extra flavoring okay all right so next we go in with our garlic granules there you go after which i'm going to just do a bit of our coarse black pepper so in you go with your coarse black pepper. Bam, that's it. And last but not least, guys, we go in with our salt. And with the salt, you know it's all well salt to taste, yeah? 
All right, we're going to salt the taste. After which, we're just going to go in with clean wash hands. If you're wearing a glove, that's fine. And you're going to marinate it. So you're going to rub in all your seasoning so it can be absorbed into your prawn. Okay? So you're going to go in like that and marinate, guys. Can you see what I'm doing? The bowl too far? Alright, look. I'm just using one hand to marinate all my seasoning that I poured onto my prawn. And I'm just going to let it sit for half an hour because I want the seasoning to like really be absorbed into the prawn. Okay. So moving on over, I'm going to show you where I'm cooking my pasta. And the pasta guy is only going to be half cooked. Then I'm going to drain it and then add my coconut cream after okay so guys as you can see my pasta is half cooked because i need to finish cooking it down with a coconut cream as i mentioned before so i just want to have it half cooked because i like my pasta to have a bit of crunch to it all right so that's the pasta half cooked and now i'm just going to go in and pour my coconut milk which i haven't opened the can as yet so give me a few seconds and i'll be back with the coconut cream being poured into our pasta so guys here i'm boiling the corn that i'm going to be using as a side order in my coconut creamy pasta so as you can see it's already boiling so i'm just going to go in with a bit more already boiling water so i've warmed the kettle and i'm using this to pour onto my corn my sweet corn and it is already in salt and salt to taste and i've also added a bit of olive oil for that moisture and to that i'm going to add some scallion just, just for flavoring it's an option guys you can and you cannot so it's up to you add a bit of scallion for flavoring then you want to go in with a fork or a spoon or even a knife whatever you have and you're going to stir it and cover and let your call boil for at least 10 to 15 minutes okay there you go so guys as you can see pasta is half cooked as i mentioned before so now at this stage you want to go in with your with your coconut cream yep so you're going to pour in your coconut cream onto your pasta like so then you want to go in with a bit of your garlic powder black pepper so you're going to do this to taste okay remember if you don't like black pepper it can be an optional then we are going to go in with two tablespoons of butter or to the measurement that you want guys and remember to my pasta I did add a bit of olive oil off camera because I like my pasta to be nice and creamy and juicy. So we're just going to stir that in. At this point, it's optional. You can go in and pour a bit of warm water to make up the juice or the substance of your coconut cream. Because remember, the coconut cream is very thick. And to this, after five minutes, we're going to add our king prawn. So you still want to have a bit of juice in it. So that king prawn can cook and absorb with the coconut cream, yeah? So that is the reason why you're going to add a bit of water. So at this point now, guys, you're going to cover. And remember, it's already salty taste. You're going to cover your coconut cream pasta and let it simmer, okay? Before adding your king prawn. So guys, love you loves. And as I say, welcome back. If you have stick with me this far through the vlog, I appreciate you so much. Miss you. Take a break. Go ahead. Share the love. Subscribe. Comment. And guess what? Give me that thumbs up. Inspiration. Okay? God bless you. And I see you back in five. Guys, guess what? I forgot. So while the coconut cream is being cooked down with our pasta, I'm just going to go in and add some crushed chili. I forgot to tell you about the crushed chili, yeah? It's going to give our pasta some flavor and also some coloring. And you forget? No, don't tell me forget already. We are the spicy bunch. So I need my spice. So yeah, 
go in and add my chili flakes so you're gonna add as much or as little as you like and may I go back again with some black pepper because look I never had enough the first time yeah <laughs> you know where the spicy bun so there you go guys and then you're gonna go in and stir again and at this point you want to turn your cob or your stove down to at least gas mark two okay because remember we still have to put in the prawn and you want coconut cream to be in the prawn in the pasta to absorb and cook the prawn all right so we're going to go back in and cover for a few minutes about five minutes and then we're going to come back and put in our pasta all right so remember to love not love enough not like you can like you can love but either way subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend all right see you back in five so now guys i'm back checking on the pasta and as you can see whoa coconut cream boiled up nice and creamy with a lovely consistency so at this point i'm just going to go in with my prawn and i'm going to throw that in i remember prawn take long for cook guys yeah what you can do also guys is to just pre-cook or stir fry your prawn before adding it to your pasta however i've tried that before and i wanted to do something different so henceforth i've done i've used the pre-cooked prawn yeah in the shell but also i guess look prawn takes so quick for cook look it start turn pink already yeah so i'm just gonna stir that in ah this is good oh this is beautiful guys look oh, i'm feeling so hungry right now look at the prawn look at the prawn texture it's changing already so as i say if you're scared you can go ahead and um you know kind of pre-cook your prawn stir fry wise and then you can add it to your pasta but i've tried that before so you don't know cooking you know is error and trial and trial and error so i'm gonna try it a different way and this is my way today a queenie's kitchen way so cooking down a nice coconut cream and i'm going to just leave it right now and let it just cook down some more allow the prawn to absorb the coconut flavor along with the pasta and the few seasoning that i've added which as you can see was just garlic chili flakes and black pepper and you know from there one salt to taste okay guys so we're just gonna go in now and we are going to cover our prawns let it cook down and you're gonna turn your stove down to about two now because at this point it's like more simmer steaming that we're doing don't want to overcook just steam so the flavor can be absorbed naturally yeah and low heat so stay tuned for the next step but while you're doing that, don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and guess what? Tell a friend to tell a friend. See you in a bit. So, hi guys, I'm back. So, prawn is finished cooking. Sweet corn is finished boiling. So, now I'm just going to quickly stir fry our nice, fresh broccoli stem. So, the chili oil is already eaten. And to that, I'm just going to pour in my sliced diced garlic you want to be very careful there so i'm just gonna do the testing on yep stir it around a bit guys let it come alive for a while then to this you're going to add your remember this being a simple stir fry and if you like for your vegetable to be crunchy do not let it steam for too long or stir fry for too long okay so at this point i'm just going to pour in my wash broccoli stem i like when mine is crunchy so they're not going to be in for long yeah, so you keep stir it over like so and one might ask why don't you add something else to it no this is what i want just need some stir fry broccoli in chili oil with garlic to accompany my sweet corn 
and coconut pasta with prawn, okay? So there you go, we have it there, we'll let it for a while. So you're going to be doing this on low heat because we want it to steam with all the flavor of the garlic, okay? And from here we can go in now with your salt. But guys, optional. Now you can go with the salt, which is the norm. But for me, I like that bit of soya. Yeah, I like the soya sauce taste with my broccoli. So today I'm going to be using the soya sauce. But you can go ahead if you don't have any and you can use the salt, okay? So I'm just going to go in now and drizzle a bit of the soya sauce over my broccoli and sliced garlic then i'm going to go in stir it some more and remember i want to get this crunchy as possible but i still want it to be cooked yeah you want to get the garlic in so we're going to turn it over and you want to be really careful when you're doing this all right Okay, dokie. So you're going to cover and leave to just steam for maximum five minutes because you want it to be crunchy. So guys, I'm back and I'm going to expose your stir fry broccoli and there you go. Broccoli is ready. So remember, as I said before, I like my broccoli to be crunchy. So for me, it is done, yeah, ready to be shared. So we're going to cover our broccoli and I'm going to go in sweet corn over here, guys. Sweet corn is ready. Nice to boil down, absorbing all of the flavors. And also, ta-da, our coconut creamy pasta and king prawn is ready. So guys, as I said before, if you love what I've done today, remember to go subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. And also share the love, make your comment and your suggestion, alright? So without further ado, I'm going to share your dinner. Thanks for sticking with me. One love and I will see you soon. Bye! So guys, there you are. Your dinner is served, guys your coconut cream pasta with king prawn served with stir fry broccoli and garlic with a lovely sweet corn you know i like my vegetables so yeah compliment it and do you have a refreshing glass of guess what it is i'm not going to tell you so guys once again thank you for cooking with me queen lee God bless. Stay safe. One love. Okay? Don't remember to subscribe. Love you loads. Bye. Mwah.